Hey everyone, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis. Why am I in Don's civilization and showing you how I click on these rewards? Well, big scandal in Ebony. <clears throat> so I'm showing you this because normally in events like this, you need to complete tasks and complete them. And then this will allow you to open up rewards, right? And if you pay money, if we go unlock, we pay money, we can access the right side. But you can see right now that I have not paid money and it's locked. There are locks there. So about two months ago, Ebony had a battle of alliances. This is what it looked like. This is the exact event. Um, <clears throat> mine was frozen like this. I took a picture of this. I sent it to Ebony customer service and I said, I can't access any of this. Like the tasks I did, I can't even stuff on the left. And I would have been perfectly willing. I, like this was actually a good event. I bought this the time before and I would have unlocked the right side and paid money, but I couldn't, it was locked. I don't know why. Uh, so there was a uh, glitch. And what happened with this glitch was basically what happened was people could go here, but in Battle of Alliance, and they could just keep clicking, 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 clicking like this, just pressing, pressing, and getting any reward they want over and over and over and over. And Ebony punished people for this. They took, in some cases, uh, some people got to fully ascend multiple generals, as long as they had the fragments, and then they could use the Blood of Heirs. Um, people got to max their champions. So there were people going around with these champions level 20. And I think they still are. I don't think Ebony's punished them for this. Uh, I think they still have this. But anyways, so about two months ago when this happened, Ebony punished people. They took resources from people. Uh, I'm not sure what else they took. I think that was it. So I know of a person who they took uh, about 6 billion of each. And this person said they never accessed the right column. All they had was this, and they just kept clicking on the resource chest. And they said it was about what they took. So they were like, okay, whatever is fair. They said they this person doesn't bought, just spends $3,000 a cake. Goes over cake all the time. Doesn't do anything against the rules other than like alts. And they came after people for the same thing for this Battle of Alliance. They came after people again today. The players got this email today. Or not lots of players, but all the players who uh, had the glitch in Battle of Alliances. Dear player, we've re recently reviewed your account and identified violations of term 1.8. As a result, we've taken the following. Removal of items obtained through exploits during the previous Battle of Alliance event. Um, so people are still in the process of emailing Ebony customer support and saying, what did you take? Why did you take it? Um, I never cheated. This is unfair. You already punished me. That sort of stuff. And uh, I know one player, they said, so Ebony did this to them took everything but their ore. <laughs> so if you're familiar at all with large players, ore is the thing like they don't really need. This is a resource they have lots of. So they took gems, they took food, wood, stone, gold from this person. They took their souls, like source of life, I guess their soul also, their ebony soul took rune stones, and this is a person who, I, like I said, spends over cake every event. So they paid legitimately for this stuff. And this is an Ebony glitch. And Ebony's punishing people, not only punishing them for it, punishing them a second time, two months later. Wow, talk about instability in the game. So where are we now in this game? Like, Ebony punished people for those, the alts, whatever was going on with alts a couple weeks ago. And now people are wondering, like, is there going to be further punishments because of the alts? 
What about the pink gems? The pink gem pack loading was way worse than this in-game glitch where people could just click a button and get resources and they punish those people. Are they going to punish those people again? Like, there, there is just no end to this. And this is the worst part of what Ebony has created. They have created a, a situation of unpredictability where people will log in every day and not know, oh my God, was I hit? Like when I see in line groups or Discord groups, this stuff going around, I'm like, I'm innocent. I know I don't cheat. I know I play fair. But I'm scared to log in. You might take my stuff because there's no recourse against Ebony. So Ebony has created an environment where I don't think people are going to be coining very much. Like, uh, you know, um, I'll tell you this. So two events ago, I full caked. The next event, I spent zero. This event, I have spent, I'm still at 12,500 gems. And the only reason I did that was because the champion, I do believe, you know, if I'm going to continue playing the game and I do care about the game, that this is a must-have thing because you don't know when Ebony will, will release it again and you'll fall behind and these are very easy buffs and not everyone does them. So it actually is something very beneficial to those who do do it. Um, but other than that, other than necessary purchases of one-time items that you need to get, I can't see myself spending much on this game. Maybe a stamina pack here and there. But even that, on all my family members, they took the stamina and the gems. And like I was buying stamina packs for my family, right? Feeding my family. And they just took that stuff. Like, that's not fair. Like I've said before in a previous video, Evany has the right to turn down your credit card payment if they think you're doing something fraudulent. Like, hey, your credit card's being used across multiple accounts. We're not accepting your money. Choose one account where you'll use this credit card and that's all we'll accept. But they don't do that. They accept your money and then they take your stuff back. <laughs> and they say you cheated and don't deserve the stuff you paid for. So lots of people are furious with this. Um, I think, I really think all of this is going to bite Ebony in the butt. Maybe, you know, maybe a coin strike could be organized. I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe everyone just agrees. Like, hey, we don't buy buffs anymore. We play with what we got and have fun with it, just like we used to when it was K35. But obviously, I think Ebony would actually just turn the game off at this point. I think Ebony has a bottom line. I think they have a, a plan of increased profits all the time. I don't know how they think this is going to increase profits because I don't think that there's many... Um, like, I, I, I'll tell you this. I know a lot of big coiners who stopped coining and then they started to coin again after Pink Gem Scandal because they're like, ah, oh, finally. Like, I couldn't figure out why I wasn't gaining on these other people. So I stopped. They knew something was up. So they stopped coining. Start to, yes. And then they started to coin after Ebony did this. They thought like, yay, hooray. Ebony did something. Even though Ebony gave all, most of their stuff back to all those people. But now, like, all of those people were also having alts and bots so they got hit with that and now this happens again and just a, a world of unpredictability i don't know where this uh, takes evany i don't know if evany even cares but uh, i wanted to let you guys know what is happening i, do, I think not everybody knows um, that evany is arbitrarily punishing people make sure to let them know if you are one of those people make sure to ask questions get a list of what they took from you lots of people still don't know they just, because lots of these really big players, like if I show you what I have in my inventory, like look, look at these runestones. Is that uh, 450,000 of the first one, 220,000 of the next? I wouldn't know if they took 50,000 off me. I wouldn't know if they took 100,000. I'd just be like, oh, okay, yeah, I thought I had more. I wouldn't notice though. Like tactic scrolls, Ebony could take 25,000 from there. I wouldn't notice. So lots of these players don't know what they lost. And uh, that's one of the scariest parts that now you now cannot trust Ebony. And this stuff's easy, right? Like your gems. But even my gems that I have in inventory, if Ebony decided to take some of these, I wouldn't notice. I, I don't open these. I keep them here on purpose, which is really sad. 
because I don't trust Devin, he won't take them if they're in my open active resources. And I think a lot of people feel that way also. Use it or lose it, basically, is the mentality. So anyways, want to let you guys know, let me know in the comments what you think about this. Is it unfair? Uh, am I punishing people two times for the same thing? And just the, like, the terms of service that they hide behind, and you saw that email, it explained nothing really it didn't say what they did wrong they take no responsibility for their own glitches they release non-finished products basically that people take advantage of and what do they want people to do not do it and email ebony and say hey there's a glitch that people are uh you know they i didn't do it but uh, other people are doing this like no especially because there's a chance like in the past ebony didn't punish this there was a research, Ebony launched a, a new update to the regular academy about a year ago and people got free speed ups. They just pounded through all the tech in like half an hour and Ebony never did anything about it. So there was kind of a precedent that Ebony doesn't punish people for their own glitches, but now they are. So let me know in the comments your thoughts on this. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.